How y'all doing? And it is Talk About It Tuesdays. How y'all doing? I'm fine. Eyes here in the flesh. And I'm so proud of myself today, y'all. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I got on my bike twice today. I'm so proud of myself. I got on my bike two times today. And I'm trying to get up to that three days in a row. If I make it or not, I don't know. But I'm thankful that I made it today. <laughs> yes, I did it. It was raining all day, cats and dogs and dogs and cats and chickens and ducks and hogs and logs and <laughs> you get my drift, but um, it turned out pretty in the end. The sun came out, still wet out there, muddy, so I won't be going into my backyard. I'm just sitting here editing videos and <clears throat> just shooting the shiznit, really doing nothing. Duty calls, finally. Got dutied out and ran out of battery juice. I had to just stop making the other video I started today. He just kept screaming in the background, Nana, Nana. So I just said I'll start over. I don't know if y'all can see me. Is it clear? Is that better? I don't know. But what it do, what it does, what it did. <laughs> How y'all doing? Man, in these YouTube streets, I'm just minding my business and mending my business and minding my business. <laughs> It's so many things I could bite today, but I ain't going. Nope, I ain't going. As I used to say, <laughs> I would just say, we would watch videos. We would watch videos. We would just say, okay, who going to take more for the team today? Who going to watch the video? I said, I ain't going. And then somebody else would do. Go and do that. You know what I mean? The breakdown is this crazy. The stuff that people put on YouTube and expect you to believe it like it's for truth. And I'm, I kind of miss going to that site, but I noticed that when I would say stuff on that site, it would trickle back, trickle back to YouTube. So I said, if I can say anything on that site, I'm going to say it on my channel. If I have anything to say, I won't be going on another site. I will be... Saying it here in your face, right to your face. It's like I'm not gonna be like hiding behind no um no thread. I'll tell you to your face how I feel. I hope I didn't break his little bug box because it fell pretty hard. I don't know what that boy caught in that yard. But I had my cameras, and when I was editing it today, I actually jumped. It had, like, squiggly things. I was like, what in the heck is that this boy got? And he just had it crawling all over his hands. I was like, Ugh. I fished, and I didn't fish with them mealworms and, and night crawlers and stuff where you had to. But I don't know what that was. It was like a worm centipede. I don't know what it was. I, if y'all know what it was, <laughs> you look at that video, you tell me, because I was like, I ain't going to put that thing in the dirt and let it live. I think he stumped it, though. I have no idea if it survived or not. I'm not going to check. But like I was telling y'all what it is, what it does, what it do, what it did. It's some crazy stuff going on. I just put it like that. There's some crazy stuff going on in it. I could bite it, but I'm not, because that's what they want me to do. And I'm not. I'm just going to sit here and laugh at you. Because <laughs> it's not that serious. This is what it looks like. 
Nope, I ain't doing it because she gonna know I'm talking to her. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just proud of myself for getting on my bike and staying true to myself and getting back up and doing it again every day. And I haven't lost any weight. I'm still at 258. It hasn't gone up. It hasn't gone down. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I do. I think I have till May 19th. That's the end of my fast, my 40-day fast. And I've been doing stuff like this. Like This is one of my other favorite snacks that I have to slow down on. This is the last of my peanuts. I think I got... Uh, a container and a half of cashews that I can roast, but I ate up all, I ate the last of the sweet potatoes that I roasted today, and that's what I had for dinner, uh, well, lunch today, around one or two, I had um, those little three sweet potatoes with some hot chili oil, and some peanuts and raisins on top, and that was that. I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow. And I got to eat these. They've been sitting. I left them out. I'm going to have to put them in the refrigerator. They're probably too soft when they get like this. And I got some sauerkraut. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to eat these too with some sauerkraut. Because I have me no. Don't, don't, you don't got on no clothes. Don't come right here. Why? Because you don't have on any clothes. And I don't want YouTube to get me in trouble. Give me the remote and go in there and I'm going to come and do it. Nothing else. Okay. I'm not turning it. Okay. If you don't go in that room, I'm not turning it. Come Hi. on, y'all. I'll be right back. It's almost out of juice, but um, I don't know what I was talking about before that boy came in here, but... um. <laughs> The stuff, like I said, the stuff that's going on, I ain't finna bite. I just find it entertaining. There's so many things that I could say, but I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I ain't girl. <laughs> I will say something to this one certain person. I just, I applaud you on your journey and I wish you well in that because I know that had to be hard. I don't know how you did that, how you let them do that to you. You must have a strong, strong, strong tolerance for pain. But all I'm going to say is don't let them give you no horse teeth. <laughs> get something, get something that fits your face. If you can not have like you got a picture of your old teeth or I mean, to me, the thing that gives people away when they get those new veneers is that they're too perfect. It's like, that's what gives them away when they're too perfect. If you like have some that are slightly like, how can I say, pivoted, or you have one that's pointy or one that's smaller or your eye teeth. It has to be, I like people, they're starting to do it now with older people. I see people and you can't tell that they're dentures because they have character or they, they're they not perfect. They're like, how can I say it? Slightly imperfect. And therein lies the rub and that's what makes them look believable. But a lot of people who are getting these movie star teeth, they get them really like too white or they get them too perfect and they just, it makes them look fake to me when they're too perfect and they're too straight and there's no variation in the size of the teeth. They just look, they all look like uniform. To me, that's like, I see all these movie stars or the, the veneers, they look too big. And then they get this, it's a standing joke in most dental office where they say it looked like they chipped off a piece of the bathtub and put it in their mouth. You don't want to get it too white either because everybody, I mean, everybody wants a, a movie star 
white smile. I understand it, but sometimes it's too white and it's too perfect. And then it makes it look fake to me. I mean, it's a lot of movie stars. It's, it, they just look too big for their facial features. But then when people get them too small, it like goes into that creepy part. <laughs> <laughs> look like something out of a horror film if they're too little so I don't know I think people who get their teeth fixed or get veneers and get that movie star smile they just go to Hollywood and it just it doesn't look right it doesn't I mean it doesn't fit the everyday person that's just my opinion but when you pick out your teeth, I hope you really think about it because you got to walk around with them choppers in your head. I did not know that you were going to have all of That's why I was like in there with eyeballs. I did not know that you was going to get all of them pulled out. But whew, that just sounds like a lot of pain. So I don't know what kind of drugs they gave you, but kudos to you. <laughs> you a rock star because ain't no way. I would, I could, I don't think I could take it, taking all of my teeth out at the same time. But technology has changed so much and everything state of the art, it probably is totally different now, the way that they do it. I don't know. But I do know that I went for a consultation and they told me that um, my nasal passages, I think on this side, it has a big pocket, and they said you have really good bone on this side. But on this side, they said that when they drill the drill in, it's going to be like, oh, it's going to be in an open, like, air socket, and that's not a good thing. And they said they could do it, but it probably would, like, have complications because it would be in my nasal pages, pats, my passage where they put the nut because they, like, screw this screw into your jawbone and secure it into your jaw. And that's what that person had. And I think I would have had to take out a loan for <laughs> what it would cost me to buy a car <laughs> or a home, uh, an average home in the hood. And I was like, that's a lot of money. For a smile so it better be worth it but I was just like I did not know implants cost that much and I was just like wow that's a lot of money but I just laugh and joke with this person I'm just gonna <laughs> he just reminds me of my little brother because he just he don't got no filter even to his own detriment <laughs> he just it just his mouth is just like this is it is what it is. I I I talk to him, but then when he start getting a little rough, I just skip on up out of there. But uh, <clears throat> there's a few female content creators out here that have colorful mouths too. I can listen for to them for a little while, and then I just say hey, and then just skip out too. But hey, I'm not judging nobody. I'm not knocking nobody. Sometimes he makes me laugh. Sometimes he makes me question him, and sometimes he just. Makes me want to pray for him, and that's what I do. I pray for people. I'll, I've, I've been in chats in all walks of life on YouTube, and when I say all walks, I mean all walks. I'm not judging anybody. I hope nobody judges me. But <laughs> I just want to just, yeah, I go into some pretty colorful rooms on YouTube, but some of them I just, I can't, I can't take it too long. I just can't, it just... The repeating of certain words and the repeating of certain things is just like, and I just have to move around. But all I can do is pray for them. I even pray for my enemies. And <laughs> it's a few people on here that say stuff and do stuff. And it's just like, when I log, that's why I told you I logged into YouTube and then I just log right out because I just log in to either my journey channel, <laughs> my cooking channel in the thumbnail just be like, bow, 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 bow. <laughs> he like, okay. This is like, and I'm like, 
what is that about? It's like, really? <laughs> I'm too old to be out here fighting. I ain't finna fight and argue with nobody on YouTube. Like I told you, I got too much life to live in my life, lives. And I just, I find it funny. Sometimes I find it sad. Sometimes it used to make me angry, but not anymore. I just elevate above it. But I just, I mean, some people might question whose chats I'm in. I mean, sometimes I feel like I have to reel people in. And sometimes I just let the whole reel go into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> That's my arm, y'all. Don't think I'm that. You don't think I'm that rude. But I just let the whole reel go. I just, sometimes you just can't help people. <laughs> I try to intercede for certain people. All I can do is pray for them at that point because it's just some people just don't want to change and it's working for them. And kudos to them. I'm just glad I don't have to think like that. Or become that. I'm just thankful for who I am and who God has made me to be. But Arama, uh, I'm surprised he's been quiet this long. I hope it's sunny tomorrow so I can go back in my yard and finish those weeds. And um, <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of birdhouses that I need to hang up that have been like I've had them since last summer. And they're squirrel resistant, so I want to put those up outside. Um, I don't know if I'm going to mount them in a way so the squirrels can't get to it. But I'll figure it out. I'll show them to y'all tomorrow for NA Wednesday. And with that, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm just joking. And another thing I wanted to say before I let y'all go. is so much violence going on in this world, especially in my city. And I was just joking and told him how I used to be. And I did. I used to think I was an outlaw back in my younger days. I used to just walk with it like this, sticking up out of my bra like I lived in the wild, wild west. Anybody in Milwaukee probably been like looking at me. I didn't have a knife. I had a whole pistol. <laughs> and... In hindsight, I mean, no, it wasn't right. Uh, it was legally mine. But when you're out here in these streets, people do stupid things. And if you have a trigger, um, switch where you're hot-headed and people can take you there easy. You don't need a gun. And... Like I said, it's ignorant people out there. If you have a loaded gun, they will make you lose. And if you live by the gun, you're going to die by the gun. I don't want to live like that. I can't take away my past. I did used to live like that. But once you work in the emergency room and you see the damage that a firearm can cause the human body, especially a child, you just... Look at guns in a whole different aspect. I mean, for hunting and if I had to feed my family, yes, I use a rifle <clears throat> or a gun if you know to protect myself from wildlife or something like that. But against another human being, just to win an argument or just to have the last say to win a fight, no, it's not that serious. I'd rather eat cheese and walk away. <clears throat> What I'm just saying this is to say in a nutshell, violence is not the answer. And bringing a gun to a fight is not the answer. You're going to make a decision that's going to affect you and other people's families for the rest of their lives. And I just think about all the innocent children who were just playing outside or playing in their house. And... Their life was just cut short because somebody was shooting at somebody else and not really understanding the dynamics of how firearms and ballistics work and how they travel and the speed that they travel and the trajectory that they have 
and you think that you're just shooting in the air and you could possibly just kill somebody and walk away and not even know that you killed somebody. But to take a human life for the sake of an argument is detrimental on so many aspects. And I just hope that people learn to think before they act and put the guns down. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. And I just, I really wish that it was a law passed that just like when police officers, before they can join the first force or they used to have a psychological test. And I really think that people need to be psychologically tested before they can own a firearm and that they take a class even when they buy it. I think that people should know how to load it, how to unload it, how to store it safely, how to clean it, how to check it and make sure that there's not a bullet because if it's semi-automatically, you shoot one, another one jumps up. It's just a lot of this, these these incidents with guns is because of ignorance because people don't know how to handle a firearm or how to even store a firearm. It's just... A lot of it is senseless. And until we do something about it and hold our constituents and lawmakers in our cities accountable, this unfortunately is going to keep happening. And just, I keep asking myself, where are these little kids getting these guns from? I just, I don't know how you can sell a 13 year old a 45 or a Glock. I just, I don't know. Anyway, y'all, I'm rambling. I just would hope that somebody listening to this would, like, really think about it. Like, do you really need a gun? Because there's always going to be somebody out there to make you reach for it. And I just hope that when you do, that you're ready for the consequences and the repercussions that come with having a firearm and pulling it on another human being. You don't want to go where I've been. You don't want to see the damage a bullet can do to a human body. I pray that you never have to. But anyhow, any who, any hey, I didn't got all sidetracked, but this is my Talk About It Tuesday. Real raw and unfiltered. And I'm just asking you to think before you act, if that makes sense at all.